the spread of coronavirus has been catastrophic in Brazil, with the country now ranking at the second for infections in the world. There is an immense vulnerable population that has insufficient access to uh, basic health conditions. And uh, most important, our government just reject social distance and heavily is promoting a kind of medicine that lacks scientific evidence that is effective. Scientists are working intensely all over the country. The universities are closed and it's not clear when they will reopen. So we are doing a lot of homework. As university members, we have lots of classes to give. So we learned how to give, uh, you know, e-learning classes. I can imagine that maybe we can use this opportunity to be more solidary, to have more initiative, to calibrate the focus around the science, to improve the quality of public policy. Maybe neuroscientists and all the scientists can think about a social protection network and perception of the communities that need us. It was really painful to do that because we have a lot of expectations. We want to, to, to build a community with another country so to keep the relationships between Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, Equator, and the Colombia and countries from Central America. And this meeting is a big opportunity for us to bring scientists and to exchange and to, to, to start collaboration. So that's something essential for us to have the Falun meeting next year.